Hey guys, kind of a different video today. Not reviewing or overviewing or talking about anything mechanical. Today I am going to get into grazing outdoor food yard around the woods. And the first thing I found that I'm going to make are these clovers. I like the flowers themselves. <clears throat> and that's my new puppy. That's Kato, and he's being bad. Get down. He's um, a Doberman. I just got him two days ago, actually. His tail was done. His dew claws were done, his shots, his warmer. And um, obviously, he's very clumsy. He's only 12 weeks old. His ears are going to be left natural. I've had Dobermans for many years. And knock wood, I've only had one bad one. And it wasn't bad that it was a ferocious killer of humans. But if it got a hold of a cat, the cat was gone. And there was no getting the cat from the dog once he had him. So, with no exaggeration, I've had probably 13 Dobermans. This guy makes 14. And um, he was the only one that I had that had any real problems. And I love them because they're smart, they're energetic, super loyal. Outstanding watchdog is most people are afraid of them. Sort of like the Rottweiler. They kind of get a bad rap. People don't know how to train them. And that leads to problems. Here's one of the other plants that I was looking for. This is actually a pretty poor example. It's kind of young and beat up pretty bad. But this is a plantain. And that's what the leaf looks like. They tend to be a little stringy, as you can see here. But if you cook them up, you can eat them raw, but if you cook them up, they, um, they're really not all that bad. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Plantain actually has a few medicinal properties. It'll settle an upset stomach. You can chew a leaf and make a poultice out of it to extract a sliver or soothe an insect sting or bite. So there's one more that I'm looking for, and I know where they're at. And if it wasn't raining nasty out today... Um, we'd, we'd make this a longer video, but because of the weather, I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. Here's the other plant I was looking for. I'm sure you recognize this one. This is the dandelion. A green lawnsman nightmare. This plant is actually pretty cool, and, uh, Obviously, they sell it in supermarkets now, so its weed status has come up a little bit. But the dandelion, pretty much a whole plant is edible. I've had the flowers um, battered and deep fried. And I'll tell you what's really good is the root. They're tough to get out. Day like today might be a little easier because it's so wet and gooey. But if you can get the root out, it resembles a small carrot dry that until it's like a powder and strain that through hot water and make a coffee or a tea out of it and it actually has a pretty nice flavor and it's a little bit chocolatey um, I've done it several times and the plants around here anyway tasted basically the same each time so you don't need to sweeten it, you don't need cream. It's a good out in the wild kind of roast over the fire, mixed with water and drink. It's, um, it's pretty surprising actually. But for today, we're just going to be eating some of the leaves from the uh, plantain, from the clover, and from the dandelion. 
and we're gonna do that outside in my Dutch oven so I need to go make a fire and get that started so I'll see you in a minute here's a better example of the plantain Well, we have the fire going, sort of. A little more work to get it up to temperature. And we'll start cooking up these weeds. Okay, I think we've got enough heat. I really don't want to get it fire too big anyway. Those rocks will start popping. And this isn't going to take a lot of heat to cook. So I'm going to get right to it because it's raining pretty well out here. And I've got this makeshift umbrella over the camera, so you're going to hear all the water ricocheting off that, and I apologize. So as I said, let me spin this around so I can make sure you can see what I want you to see. I'm going to use my Dutch oven. Um, here's all the stuff, kind of colorful, huh? This is the stuff that I grabbed out of the ground um, just a little bit ago. What I like to do when I go out and about in the middle of nowhere is, instead of carrying all kinds of seasonings and spices, olive oil is my go-to oil. So I'll take an empty um, spice shaker and you can't see it because I have it taped up so I know what's in it, but it's about this full of olive oil. And then in this one I've got garlic, black pepper, and seven pepper. And I just write it on there in, in permanent marker and it lasts for a while, except on days like this. So what I'll do then is I'll shake this up real good. And I'm going to run out of heat over there in the fire, I think. And then I'll pour the whole thing onto what it is that I want to prepare. I will hang on to this for future use. Get my lid on. And then we're gonna just put that right over the flame. And it's not gonna to take too long. So I won't pain you with all this rain noise. So I'll be back when that's ready. Okay, this has been cooking over this sad excuse for a fire, probably five to seven minutes now. Um, I did have a look, and it's definitely ready to eat. Like I said, you can eat all this stuff raw, but I really like to cook. And, and if I was in a survival situation, then I'd be eating it raw without a doubt. But if I have the ability, I'll cook it because it just adds to the taste. So, that being said, and I'm kind of crouched down like this. I wrenched my back two weeks ago yesterday, and the chiropractor said that I pinched a sciatica nerve. So I've got this crazy pain that comes from my hip right down the front of my leg. So if anybody has any home remedies for that, um, I'm not really into the drug things, so pain relievers, muscle relaxers, I, I won't take them unless I'm, you know, my life is in danger if I didn't. But, um, yeah, if anybody's got any home remedies, I'd love to hear them. So here's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, and I always get my chops busted for this one. Um... <laughs> I always keep a fork in my knife sheath, and I never have to look for one, as long as you don't drop it when you take your knife out. So this is what it looks like after it's cooked down, and it does cook down quite a bit. The olive oil is actually starting to boil in there. And as I said, sitting behind your computer, you're probably thinking, yeah, it's a 
last thing I'd be eating. But if you were out starving to death, this, this would be a delicacy. So let's give it a shot. By the fire where it's a little bit warmer. Ah, boy, that hurt. Throwing a little bit of everything. Temperature is just right. God, this smells awesome. I wish you could videotape odors. It's actually cooked just right as well. It's not real soggy, it's still a little bit crunchy. So most of the um, vitamins and minerals are still going to be in here. Yeah, the clover doesn't look real pretty when it cooks down, but boy does it taste good. Alright guys, I'm going to end this because of the weather, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, comments, please post in the uh, comments section. I appreciate your time, and have a great Sunday. Talk to you soon.